friends and greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB advanced test analyst we are in chapter 4 now that is testing quality characteristics and moving into the content of this chapter we'll be covering 4.1 as introduction and 4.2 quality characteristics for business domain testing so let's talk about the introduction of this chapter in this tutorial and we'll be getting into the details of the same in the next tutorial so stay tuned for that so when you talk about the quality characteristics we again know from the foundation there are certain non-functional characteristics which basically are being tested once the functional testing is being performed so once the functional testing gets over we have a lot of other non-functional parameters or quality characteristics which need to be tested by the team before we release the product officially to the market now of course uh, this cannot be dealt by all the you know everything by one person like test analyst so you can see on the screen right now you have the classification and distribution of the sub characteristics of the quality parameter into the test analyst and technical test analyst as you see and in the beginning introduction i told you that there are a test analyst deals from the functional point of view whereas technical test analyst deals from the quality characteristic or non-functional point of view so we have a lot of things listed here from the non-functional parameter whereas the first part is functional which basically falls under the test analyst code and also as an add-on the usability being the non-functional parameter is being given to the test analyst as a responsibility and the only reason is uh, usability is to be considered right from the functional level right from the unit testing each feature each component when created or tested with unit testing or integration or system and so on has to be tested right from there whether it is user friendly or not, whether it is accessible or not. So there are a lot of parameters as you can see here like understandability, learnability, operability, attractiveness, compliance and compliance basically falls under everything. And when it comes to functionality, security is one of the parameter, but it's not uh, responsibility of the test analyst as you can see. So whatever you see on the right that is technical test analyst does not fall under our syllabus. So we generally have it in another certification which is called as technical test analyst. So in this particular syllabus, in this particular chapter, we'll be talking only about functionality and we will be talking about usability. So usability, uh, we'll be talking about the details of usability in you know complete understanding what exactly it is and how it is in 4.2. So let's understand something more about this and then we'll quickly move to the uh, other understanding so when you talk about the quality characteristics of course the usability is being given to the uh, test analyst from the quality characteristics so we will be trying to understand that and on the other side of course all the functional level falls under the test analyst code so it is very important for the test analyst to determine the end-to-end -end activities the you know efficiency and the proficiency on preparing the test cases and executing them and making sure that the coverage is achieved or the quality has been achieved by executing those test cases is very important the test analyst should also concentrate on the software quality characteristics uh, other than the functionalities usability plus we also have something called as accessibility which is a subunit of usability that means it is covered as a part of usability where generally accessibility is called as uh, the accessibility to the product by differently able users so anyways we'll be talking about this in 4.2 plus we are talking about all the sub characteristics of compliance with related relation to the quality characteristics so specific to usability we'll be talking about what compliance characteristics are there and what are the sub characteristics of usability which will be covered as a part of it so you know you have to stay tuned for that to understand further uh, when you talk about all the quality characteristics or their sub characteristics uh, it is really important and crucial for the test analyst to identify the typical risk areas and address them with relevant uh, test cases and at the same time uh, the strategy being prepared should consider these factors and make sure that the strategy is trying to cover that in one or the other way and also required support for the tool or lifecycle timeline 
or you know what kind of softwares documentation availability technical expert so we're not just talking about the product risk we're also talking about the several project risk so everything has to be taken care of by the test analyst when it comes to the quality characteristics not just limited to being functional anyways while you talk about the other things of course the resource which we were using the testing team has to be equally qualified in terms of the non-functional parameters as we know from foundation the functional team is different than the non-functional team and within non-functional team we do have different teams doing usability performance uh, reliability or portability or security or api testing so there are a lot of things like that so we we just need to recognize the right set of people doing the right set of job at any point of time anyways at the end definitely the responsibility for the quality cases that requires more technical approach is important for the test analyst to determine the same because if when you talk about non-functional parameters the quality characteristics that is more technical than the functional parameters so the team has to be highly qualified and skilled in terms of determining the quality characteristics of a product so that's all from the introduction here in this particular tutorial. We'll be getting back to you soon with the usability and we will be getting into the sub characteristics of the same to understand in more detail. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Should you have any query, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.